Hello everybody, Sparkster1701 here, and we're taking a look at another Earthrise toy, but we're taking a look at somebody special this week. This is Slitherfang. Slitherfang is a Quintesson. So this will be the first Quintesson that we'll be taking a look at here on the channel. And it's really hard to say much about him. Slitherfang is a new character into the lore, so there really isn't much to say about him other than the fact that he is a robotic snake. So I guess he might fit in with the terrorist group Cobra. Maybe he could be the mascot. But at any rate, let's take a look at him a bit. He's done up as a cobra, obviously. Got a lot of trans purple on his backside. And apparently for locomotion, he moves around on a tank tread. For posability, we can raise the head up and down. The whole head section does rotate 360 degrees. And it also can bend forward, like so. And even adjust at the base, like so. So if you want, you can get him laying low to the ground. If you want him to go all low rider on you. And, of course, the tail can be folded in and all the way around. Then he slips out of your hands very, very easily. <laughs> and at any rate, Slitherfang is one of the new battle masters this rave. So he becomes a shield and a ramp. And as he becomes a shield, he does include this unique explosion, energy explosion. And it can be plugged in to his back, since there's a post on his backside. But of course, the front of the instructions shows it right here, under his mouth. So it's kind of somebody's shot him in the gut. <laughs> That just looks weird. Now, of course, to transform him, it's a pretty simple affair. You start by, you take his head and you fold his head so that he's looking straight up. Admire the view of the ceiling. Then, we're going to reach behind him. And we fold up. We're supposed to try to fold up this trans purple section. Nope, nope, it's not the front, it's not the back piece, it's the front piece. This piece here on his chest. We fold it up all the way like so. Then we will bring up his tail by swinging it up and inward like so. And then we fold up. Fold the tail in and fold the treads up. And there we go. There he is in ramp mode. And the instructions show you could connect him to Airwave, but I don't have Airwave yet. At the time I recorded this, Airwave was not available in stores yet, so. But basically, he would just snap in like Sound Barrier does into other things. So there's almost no real purpose to show that, since it's pretty much the same. He also becomes a shield. The instructions go through a lengthy process to make him a shield. That's not necessary, Hasbro. Don't make it more complicated. All we would need to do is, there's this little post here. All we got to do is manipulate that a little bit. If need be, raise the section up a little bit and get his tail to come out. 
And then there you go. The shield. We'll demonstrate the shield here. We got pounce hanging around here nearby. Just may have to keep him unfolded a bit to help keep this section from moving on you too much. But there we go. Once we got it in. And we just fold everything up. And then there we have it. Put the energy spark on here so it looks like that pounce just saved himself from getting shot. And there we go, folks. That's how we look at him as a shield. Now, of course, we get on to my thoughts about him. What do I think of Slitherfang? Well, it's hard to really say much about Slitherfang. We really don't have any sort of information about who he is. What sort of role does he play with the Quintessons? And that's really the downside about these modern figures not including some of the same stuff that the Generation 1 figures did. Back in the G1 day, we would have at least gotten a, a mini bio about him that would have told us what he did, what his job was. We don't have that this time around, and that, I think, is a modern tra travesty to our young people. They really don't get anything to say the importance of these characters or what role they played. I mean, as we've seen from the Earthrise line, especially if you search on the internet, you can probably find a listing of many of the toys that are coming for the Earthrise line. We're getting some other Quintessons this round, this wave. We will be getting one of the Alley Cons that was featured in Transformers the Movie. The creatures that first caught Cup and Hot Rod on the Quintesson planet. And we're also getting the Five-Faced Judge. So for those of us who saw the 1986 movie, we know who those guys are. We know what they did. We have some ideas to the role they play in their society. This guy we have nothing out we know nothing about. All we can do is make assumptions. And I'm gonna fall back to how I talked about Sound Barrier earlier in the year, in the fact that I do like how they've made the ramp modes a little more usable and a little more play a little more play value into them. Since they can become a small figure, which isn't bad. Slitherfang, though, gets a little bit of an advantage due to the fact that he's something rather unique. So I'll give him bonus points for that by being a snake instead of trying to be a humanoid-shaped robot. The ramp mode? Well, what do you expect? It's a ramp. It'll connect on to the other city play sets or other features that we will be getting during this toy wave. The shield mode, well, it's basically the ramp with posts sticking out so that the robot, the giant robots, can hold it. And that, like I said earlier, that makes him a nice accessory to be used this time around. It would just be nice if we could get some more background data on this character. And for that, we would have to wait. And part of that would mean we'd have to wait and see if IDW includes him in their comic books, or if Netflix does a new Earthrise cartoon. Excuse me. Don't you just love it when the postman brings you mail and you're in the middle of recording your YouTube channel? <laughs> Anyway, that's my thoughts on Slither Fang. I hope everybody enjoyed the review. If you like the review, please leave me a thumbs up on YouTube. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button to join our ranks. Don't forget to ring that bell so you'll get notified when we post new content this month. 
since it can change depending on how many of these Earthrise toys we're able to acquire in the month. Also, please share the, this video with your friends and fellow collectors. That's what helps this channel grow. And, of course, share your thoughts about Slitherfang in the comments down below. This is Sparkster1701 saying I'll catch you all later.